Man, all the time, man, I be putting some like vegetables that I want to eat on my own. Next thing you know, Emily just snatches it. What's your side of the story? I'm the younger one, so he, he gotta feed me first. She hey! Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to an episode of the Hot Pop Boys. We are continuing our Sino So series where we are exploring Chinese cuisine. And today, we're doing actual hot pot for the hot pot boys. Woo! Hot pot in America for the older generation was definitely something they did at home with their family. And then commercially in terms of restaurants, it probably went from the Taiwanese Hong Kong style. And now across the country, the Mala Sichuan style is dominant. Hey yo, shout out to the Mala style, man. You got all the reds, the spice, but the Cantonese style is the total opposite. And today we gonna be having hot pot at my crib where you guys know it's gonna be traditional. And in Cantonese, we call hot pot Da bin lo. Da bin lo at home. Let's go. And by the way, this episode of the Hot Pot Boys is sponsored by Bobo Fish Balls, the leading brand of fish balls in Singapore. They are coming to a Asian market near you in the States. High quality, premium ingredients, no preservatives. Let's go. Get it started, bro. Get it started. Yeah, what, what do you want to get? All right. I just more excited for some of the veggies. Wait, well, you excited about veggies? Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Say that one more time. I said I'm excited for the veggies, no cap. I'm looking specifically looking for the enoki mushrooms and bean curds. In Cantonese hot pot, the broth is definitely lighter. And some of my Cantonese friends, they just eat it straight up with water first. And then eventually as you eat, it turns into broth. Well, um, oyster mushroom, this is the king of oyster mushrooms, homie. One tomato, one. Let's go to the like tofu it. section. That one uh, was more dense. That was the memory foam joint. These ones won't soak it up as much because they're really dense. Ribeye shabu shabu product of Mexico. Oh, get the shabu shabu. Yeah. Shabu shabu. All right, one sauce that you cannot forget is the sa cha cha. That is like probably the most popular kind of saute flavor in Chinese hot pot, so we gotta get that. Um, it, I, it's a chiu chow inspired sauce. Y'all must have forgot about the fresh rice noodles. Y'all already know, the man. The VLEZ. The VLTs. All right, we got all our hot pot material. We got Bobo fish balls. Let's go make it happen. This is a extremely active Canto household. Yo, there are dogs, there are people. And my dad's a specialty. Patron soy sauce. Whoa! With the, you know, the chilies inside. If this was fish filet, I think we would treat this differently than fish balls. Fish balls, they have, uh, they have more flavor than fish. And honestly, it's easier to deal with. We go in three of each in each side. Aha! We got the bobos cooking. Yo, the fish balls are floating. Beat, beat the egg up. I beat it, beat it up. We got it. One of the differences in Canto Hot Pot is that you use a raw egg as the dipping sauce. That's very popular. Oh, David did a one-hander. Are we now ready? Fish balls are floating. I'm hungry. Are done. Yo, everybody go with the white one first. Yo, the original Bobo fish ball. Mm. Oh, that is good. Wow. Yo, I usually don't rave about fish balls. That is high quality. No, it's fluffy, man. Ooh, shout out to Bobo. Oh my gosh, let's try this fried one, guys. The fried one? Yeah. Mm. The fried mm. one's good with the saute. Yo, the mm. fried with the saute, Mike. Is that the best one yet? Yeah. I think we all agree that might be right. the fried one in the saute sauce. All right. Shrimp one? Mm. I don't mind the shrimp one right now. I think the shrimp one definitely benefits from being in the saute broth. Mmm. Fried flavor one is cool. These fish balls are really high quality. They're bouncy, they taste clean, the flavor's subtle but it's got a really great texture. Well, no surprise that a Singaporean company does fish balls good, because as you said, most Singaporeans come from like a Hokkien background, which is pretty much Fujinese, and Fujinese people are very much known for their fish balls. I actually like the original one. Second, I'm gonna go with the crab one. Okay. Third, the fried one, and lastly, I would say I'm gonna go with the shrimp. I go original fried shrimp crab. 
Woo! Guys, yo, you guys, we got what a way to start, man. Bobo fish balls. Let's keep it going. I'm putting in the beef. Nelson, your favorite. Enoki. No, that's, that's important. This beef. We Boom, got, I might we got, throw we got. a little tofu. Ooh. Why not? We got the big serving chopsticks. Look extra long, extra reach. Yep. And obviously, they're so long that everybody will know, don't eat with these. Right, right, like, right. Like, like, they're Just, too If long. you catch yourself eating with the long chopsticks, maybe you shouldn't be. The daddy long leg. Yo, I think you need to throw in some wood ears. Let's toss everything in there. Yo, hit oh, me. The oh, I'll have to clear one. The I want to try the long bottom choppies. Wow. The long choppies. Guys, I want to try. This is the first time I've eaten meat out of a water broth. It all depends on the sauce you put it in with, you know? But no, obviously, no. you're getting that clean taste. Mm -hmm. You're not, getting, you're not getting the seasoning from the broth. I will say this, sometimes when the broth is too salty, yeah. and you got a salty sauce, just everything's oh. a little too salty. Oh, good yeah. point. No, go. it's way cleaner. It's way cleaner. cleaner. It's way cleaner. In, in, in Canto, it's ho ting. Ho ting? Ho -ting. Oh, definitely ho ting. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna throw in some of these little yam noodles. Yo, I'm gonna throw in some hall fun, some rice noodles into the clear one. The clear broth is no longer exactly clear. It now looks like the light broth that would come with the pot. Hit me with some hall fun. Hit me with some hall fun, fun please. Yep. There's something that it's so communal, it's so active. You gotta stay locked in. You know, especially when there's not a large Asian or Chinese community, they use hot pot to bring everybody together. I know a lot of Asian students who go to school, you know, in places where there's not any hot pot restaurants and they're doing hot pot at home. Yep. But it's funny because Nelson, you said this is the first time you ever set up hot pot with friends at home. It's just fun. I mean, it may be a lot of work because you gotta set everything up, you gotta clean them after, but you know, it's easy to, to cook everything, you know, just boil it in the water. That's a community thing you guys enjoy, you guys share stories and stuff. Hey, you got, got any hot pot stories? Hey, we got oh some hot man. pot stories? I definitely got some stories about my dad throwing stuff in oh, and then yeah. having it jump up and hit our eye, uh, almost hit our eyes. You gotta be careful because um, in the community hot pot, it is it does run just like a, anything of the community would where when you do one thing, it can't affect another person. So if you throw in the ingredients too hard, it might splatter on people. All the time, man. My dad does that all the time. I know my dad always likes to, you know, he's very careless sometimes because my mom likes to kill it, uh, clear broth and my dad likes the super spicy stuff, you know, the mala broth. But he always be mixing, he'd be like dipping them both and stuff like that. My mom would always get mad. But like, why are you dipping the spicy stuff into the clear broth? Now it's spicy. Now right. I can't eat it. That's why it's called a community. There's a couple ways you can do this, Andrew. Isn't it true in China there's a saying seven times down, eight times up, and it's done? Hey man, you, you know the Chinese philosophy a little bit better than me. I never heard that. So earlier today I was trying to do research about Cantonese hot pot. And to be honest, online there's not that much stuff about specifically Canto style. So I called up my dad, and then I was like, yo, dad, what is the difference? He was just like, ah, you know, it's just a lighter broth, and it's very regional. So so whatever the region is eating, that is what you would put in the hot pot. He, he just said, there's no rules, guys. Even several years ago, when we were eating hot pot, and we would crack the raw egg, some people would be like, oh my gosh, you're eating raw egg, bro? You're going to get salmonella. And then guess what nowadays? At every single restaurant, Probably they serving up runny yolk eggs. Like half raw. Yeah, eggs. half raw eggs, bro. Peep the muscle. No, no, no. Here. Justin, the other muscle. Ah! Don't Green get it muscles. twisted. Green muscles from New Zealand. Hey, Bobo Fish Balls, remember the name. Em, Nell, do you guys ever fight over the food in the hot pot? Because that is sometimes an issue with the with the shared pot, right? Man, all the time, man. I be putting some like vegetables that I want to eat on my own. Next thing you know, Emily just snatches it. I was like, where, where are my vegetables going, man? I was like, what's your side of the story? I'm the younger one, so he, he got to feed me first. Hey! Oh, hey I didn't true. put it in there to feed you, but I put it in there to feed me. I okay, mean, okay. I guess ladies first. Oh man, she got a comeback for everything now. Yeah. We're going with the one ton noodles, the cho mein. David, your favorite. You were so excited about this. Hi, y'all, man. The, 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 these not healthy enough when you ain't got to put the veggies in, man. Let's put some veggies in there, bro. Okay, for the dunkability. For the dunkability, man. Y'all watch that. Okay, the tongho. Get that close up, baby. Oh. Woo! Don't worry, guys, it'll shrink. It'll shrink. You know what I love about hot pot? Is that so easily it can just turn into another dish. Like, you're picking stuff out of the hot pot, but then look, now I just have like a noodle dish, essentially. Look at this, I got two types of noodles. I got two types, types of noodles. Yo, that's one for the eggs and one for the rice. That is very chill job of you. Oh man. Oh, chill job people love doing that. Yeah. 
One of my favorite little recipes, guys. If you need something to taste good, put in all you need is sesame oil and soy sauce. That is the quickest yeah, way to I'll make something taste tasty. Oh man, aren't you guys, you guys, I think we're nearing, uh, we're gonna keep eating, but we're nearing the end of the video. We just got a little bit of hot pot trivia that we're gonna be playing at the end of this video because we are doing Dapping Lo. Most overrated item at Hot Pot. Go. Sorry. Well, I got one. Generally, in my opinion, fish fillets. Okay. I don't care if it's so, I, trust me, I had some expensive hot pot in my life yeah. before. Hey, David, you saying nay to the fish fillet. Yeah, I'm yes to fish balls, though. Yes to oh, fish man. balls, yes, yes yeah, to fish nay balls. to fish fillet. Yeah. One of the overrated things on hot pot for me is tofu. I love tofu, but I just don't eat it in hot pot. I'm going with shrimps, man. Okay. You see some shrimps in the hot pot. One is like, you gotta peel it, but you can't really peel it because it's hot as heck. I see it's where you're. Simple. I, I see where you're coming from, Nell. No. But I enjoy the shrimp so much, I have to disagree. Most underrated item: baby corns. Oh yeah, I would not have said that. Oh, dude, the fish balls are good, but that everybody likes fish balls. I, baby corns. Yeah. I, I I I have to decline on that one. I don't like baby corns. What? It tastes like plastic, bro. What? Like wax and stuff. Well, that's my hot take. Why you like that's baby the most corn? underrated? Why you like baby corn? You a baby? <laughs> 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 Eat a baby puppy. <laughs> of, I know that everybody usually gets fish balls, but one type of fish ball that I think is overlooked a lot is the crab fish ball. And uh, yes, I'm talking about the Bobo fish balls, man. I thought that was, that came through and it, and it looks kind of interesting too. I think, all right, my most underrated, I think, has got to be the enoki mushroom. Or I don't know if it's underrated. I don't know if it's underrated. I don't know if it's underrated because a lot of people get it though. A lot of people do like the enoki. Uh, I don't know. Let's just run through real quick. For the audience, the different types of hot pot there is. Okay, in China, there are a ton of regional styles. Mm -hmm. Mongolian hot pot. With the little hats looking thing. Right. Then you have Sichuan. Yep, you know the Sichuan is all red with chilies floating up at the oh, top. Oh man. Generally, a Fujianese slash Chaozhou style. Okay. Then you have a Cantonese style. Mm-hmm. Which is what we're trying to mimic today. There's probably more within China. China's a really big country, but those are the ones that I personally am familiar with. In Japan, shabu shabu. Yep. Vietnamese have their own style. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen the Vietnamese style? Uh, they no, have this, no. they keep everything on a metal rim. rim. Thai people have a style. There's yep. Thai hot pot. I mean, I think Cambodians there's have Cambodian, their own style. There's Cambodian hot pot. Even Koreans, I heard it's, they, they have a, a version. Yeah. All right, you guys. Yo, thank you so much for watching that homemade Cantonese Southern style hot pot. Please let us know in the comment section below. Number one, what is your favorite item at hot pot? Number two, what is your favorite style of hot pot? And number three, big shout out to Bobo Fish Balls for sponsoring this video. Man, Singaporeans, they know how to do fish balls, man. These are high quality, they're tasty, no preservatives. Don't freeze them either. Well, oh, hey, you know Bobo Fish, fish Balls. Ah. <laughs> hey, I think we gotta take a trip to Singapore soon. Never been. Nothing, let's go. Ready. Ready. Going. All right, until next time, everybody, we out. Peace. Peace.